Hey, I'm Fight the Flat Earth. Welcome back to the channel that tells stupidity to put a pencil up its nose and headbutt a table, and then laughs when it does. The stupidity is never ending, and for some reason, has access to the internet. So yet again, the flurs continue to vomit idiocy all over the comments section of not just my channel, but any channel I am on. It's like they can't get enough of me, and I'm cool with that because it means I get to point out they're stupid to all of you. Before we get started, I would like to welcome Mr. Cheswick to Team FTFE for making this awesome music track for me. See, I'm not sure where he got the music from, but he went to the effort of adding my voice sample and stuff to it. So now I'm going to use it under Creative Commons for fair use at the end of all my videos. Remember, this is the guy who said he is never going to make another video about me. Then at last count, there was seven, including this original song about me. If this guy dropped the flat earth nonsense, he'd be onto a winner with his humour and music skills. Anyway, thanks for the videos, Mr. Cheswick. Today, I'm a butthurt sellout that is going to die in astronomical sin. Stick around to find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. Find the flat earth! Find the flat earth! Find the flat earth! Now that I'm back up and running with a functioning PC and the ability to stream, expect videos to come thick and fast. I mean, I've got enough comments for an infinite amount of these shows. I've got three episodes of Flurfs of Idiots in production and an episode of Explaining Simple Stuff to Flurfs. But for now, let's get on with the stupid. First up is someone who is obviously not a soccer account of Sleeping Warrior. New to all of this, but I've heard Nathan Oakley 1980 is the man to debate. He goes live every day. Have you debated him yet? Well, obviously not, Anthony. I'll debate Nathan anywhere, except his channel or my channel, because I think if we meet, it needs to be on a neutral channel like the non sequitur show. And one of your own little crew, Spurkismo, said this about the channel. Uh, tomorrow no, you can join us. Quickly, uh, very quickly, Kyle, uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, you run an absolutely fantastic show here. You know, uh, it's a really great platform, I feel, for uh, truthers to um, you know speak their mind and you know you're extremely uh, fair um, so yeah it's been a pleasure absolute pleasure so what's your excuse let's do this Nathan you and I are long overdue a debate I'd like as many people as possible to clip what I'm about to say next and send it to Nathan Oakley Nathan Oakley I challenge you to a debate on the shape of our world it must be on a neutral channel are you scared Next up is someone who is a little strange because during my recent community stream, they did several super chats to get their flat earth message seen. This is a tactic I highly endorse. Please continue to do it. This test the globe earth society worshippers, according to your doctrine with a random capital D, gravity depends on the speed of the globe spinning, right? No, no capital letter. Therefore, the gravity formula of 9.6 meters square has been a constant since Homo sapiens invented the mechanical timekeeping system, right? So if that, random full stop, was a fact in reality, the equation of time demonstrate that Earth is accelerating and decelerating through the year and no fluctuating forces of gravity have ever been registered Therefore, Earth is stationary and time is organic. Please come to our next Flat Earth Meetup with your critical thinking. Switch on and learn how lava doesn't come from the center of a spinning ball and that the iron core is not magnetic and much more logical truths. Flatter Day, March 23rd, Sunset Beach, California. Thank you. Send me your email address and I will send a pass for two at no charge for you. It's going to be a hardcore globotomy. There's so much here to dissect. I mean... So, so much. Let's start with your invite to the Flat Earth Meetup. I'm going to have to politely decline as I'm already planning to attend the International Flat Earth Conference in Texas in November. As for the rest, let's go to the remedial classroom to find out why you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> right, settle down you muppets. 
Today we're going to talk about... Yes, yes, Mr. Thatcher, it is true that Bob Nadell proved the Earth spins. Yes, yes, Mr. Riley, your buddy Jeronism did prove that the Earth has a curve. That's right. Right, 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 guys, quieten down. Yes, the Globebusters team have single-handedly killed Flat Earth and then removed all the videos from their YouTube channel. That gives me an idea. Your homework today is to watch the documentary Behind the Curve. But for now, we're going to talk about why we don't fly off the world as it spins, just like Bob proved that it does. First, we have to figure out the force keeping you on the Earth. That force, of course, being gravity. To do this, we're going to use the formula for gravity, which we should all know by now is Fg equals g times m1 m2 over r squared, where big G is the universal gravitational constant, m1 is the mass of the Earth, M2 is your mass, which for this we will assume is 70 kilograms, and R is the distance between the centers of M1 and M2. So we plug in the numbers and we get Fg equals 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times the product of the mass of the Earth, which is 5.9 times 10 to the 24 kilograms and your mass, which is 70 kilograms, divided by the Earth's radius, which is 6,371,000 meters squared. And when we crunch the numbers, we see that gravity is holding you to the Earth with a force of 678.6 newtons. Now, to figure out the centrifugal force, we use the equation F equals M2 times R times the product of 4 pi over T squared. Then, when we crunch the numbers, we see that the centrifugal force is 2.35 newtons. We see the force holding you to Earth is much larger than the force trying to throw you off. Right guys, don't forget your homework is to watch the documentary Behind the Curve. It's on Netflix and Amazon. Look out for my favourite bit where Mark Sargent stabs at a non-touchscreen monitor before declaring it broken and storming off like a child as the camera hovers over a big button that says, press here. I could never be a teacher, that guy has way more patience than me. Let's see who's next. Thank you for your contribution for Operation Mass Globortions, and I am so sorry, but the scientific community contradicts your assertions. Because if the Earth stood still means that the internal dynamo, aka magnetic iron core, had stop. Space, comma, space, therefore gravity would collapse and you would not need to be rolling around, laughy emoji. I would love to scientifically refute what was just said, but I can't, because it made less sense than the way YouTube handles community strikes. Tell you what, come to my next live stream on Thursday and send some more of those super chats my way so that I can answer you there. I recently made a video called Flat Earthers Can't Gravity. And this was the response from an angry flirt called Zero One Bletch. You can't gravity either until you can properly explain what it is and you cannot, you stupid fuck. I mean, I guess you didn't watch the video because between myself and Bob the Science Guy, I thought we explained gravity pretty well. But in case you want the short version, Gravity is the warping of space-time by mass which changes the locality of other masses and manifests within Newtonian physics as an accelerating force. Next time maybe watch the video before saying something stupid, although for you I think that might mean watching the video every time you intend to open your mouth. Next. Globe is a lie. Truth is gaining ground. Oh I hate to disappoint you but a couple of things. You say it's gaining ground yet Google Trends shows that compared to March 2016 there's 50% less searches for Flat Earth in general. And there's more searches for Bigfoot. Not only that, but the Flat Earth Conference in Canada in August has been cancelled. That's kind of the exact opposite of gaining ground. Let the stupid continue. Thanks for proving how dumb of a liar you are. You love proving you, double space, will lie and sell out people for money. You arty butthurt that the flat earthers are proving Earth is flat every day. And, and then he stops using capitals. You reject all evidences for flat Earth that is all around us. It's pretty hard to reject evidence that is non-existent. And calling people like you idiots isn't lying, it's being nice. Seems like Bobby Lee has some backup. Nice one, mate. Ask Quaggy to tell you about the Cavendish experiment. Space, comma, no space. He got a video on it. <gasps> Sharp intake of breath. Bunch of laughy emojis. Yeah, nice attempt at an insult. But I will mention the video that me and Bob the science guy did again. Thanks for the opportunity to shill out one of my videos during one of my videos. In that video, Bob does an incredible job of explaining the Cavendish experiment. I doubted that Dennis Picknose here knows what the Cavendish experiment is, so I asked him how it works. 
To the best of my knowledge, it doesn't, space exclamation mark, but I am afraid, me old mucker, space comma no space, the burden of proof is on ye, space exclamation mark. To the best of your knowledge, Alan, there's the problem. Your knowledge includes the fact that you think the Earth is flat, proven that your knowledge is about as trustworthy as Trump's talk about Mexico paying for a wall. Congrats on proving you're only here to lie and to deceive, full stop, no capital. You keep failing at debunking flat earth, comma, full stop, no capital. You keep on proving you have no evidence for any curvature, full stop, no capital. Ye just love how you keep on proving you cannot even debunk flat earth, full stop, no capital. I just love how you keep on proving you are way dumber than any flat earther. I just love how butthurt you get when flat earthers expose liars like you, no full stop. Bobby Lee, when flat earthers attempts at exposing me are this, then I'm more than happy for them to continue. You will only prove that you are a pathological liar, full stop, no capital. Oh, you double space for some reason. Vids proves you are space, full stop, no, no capital letter, a con man. Well, your comments prove you're a moron. You have no evidence for curvature. The earth is flat. Deal with it, you lying scum. No evidence for curvature, huh? Well, I'm sure you actually mean no evidence for curvature that you would accept. Man, you're a total dumbass. You and few the flat earth loves perturbing how dumb you liars are. Bobby, you do see the fact that you are calling me stupid whilst commenting like this is incredibly ironic, right? The earth is always flat every time I look at earth. All the flat and level land D3 bunks, you retarded globe. Space, 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 you keep on denying reality. You have no evidence for the globe. Your vids prove that you live stupidly and love stupidity. You hate the fact the flat earthers are way smarter than you are. You are too scared and too much of a coward to be a true skeptic. You blindly believe whatever your slave masters and controllers tell you. Well, guys, as you can see, Bobby Lee has made quite a few comments on my videos. Well, what you've seen here is actually just a small portion of the several hundred he has made. Yet the second I challenge him to a debate, like most flurfs, he runs like a bitch. Oop, you cats get a big check, because the sin you're going to die in is astronomical. I pity you. No, David, there is no picture. Oh. Hold, hold on. Hello? Hey, Massa. You're tripling my pay because of the amount of flurf butter I've got. Brilliant. Yeah, just put it in the normal place in, in the suitcase and I'll go pick it up. Oh, fine, make it two suitcases if you can't fit it in one. Alright, thanks for calling. Cheers, bye. Where are all the motherfucking pictures of motherfucking Earth from motherfucking space? Oh, man, for real? Hold on, people. It's can can time. stupid for today thanks for watching as i said i'm back up and running now with my new computer and the ability to stream so you'll see something from me most days if you've enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and get the notification bell on so you never miss anything from fight the flat earth a massive thanks to all my patrons your name should be on the screen now your support means the world and remember stupidity is not a right fight the flat earth fight the flat fight the flat fight the flat fight the fight the fight the flat